Hi everyone, Dr. Stephanie Shuttler here. I am a wildlife biologist. I have a new book out. It's called Getting a Job in Wildlife Biology, what it's like and what you need to know. I am taking you through this, in this series, chapter by chapter. My channel is about empowering scientists and inspiring everyone to conserve our natural world. Chapter eight is all about decide your education. Um, I had beta readers read this book and one response was, it was kind of weird to work backwards in that we've gone through um, in chapter six and seven, especially the different job types and the different job workplaces. Wouldn't it make sense to talk about education first? But no, I think you need to start with the end in mind where you ultimately want to end up. So often I think people just take the next step and this often starts with a degree. I'm part of a couple of Facebook groups in uh, wildlife um, careers and frequently people talk about how they can't get a job so they want to get their master's or PhD. That is the wrong way to think about your education. You want to think about the job that you want and the education that you need to get for that job. As I mentioned in um, the last episode in chapter 7, that you can overqualify yourself for jobs. So you wanna make sure that you get the right level of education. So in this chapter, I go through bachelor's degrees, if you should get an arts and, or sciences degree, master's versus a PhD, um, other coursework that is really important for you to get for certain types of careers. For example, even with a PhD, I don't have enough bot botany um, course credit. I actually don't have any. So I cannot apply for pretty much all jobs, um, all federal jobs. Um, so things that just like people do not tell you about in this career. If you are interested in careers tangential to wildlife biology, like science communication or uh, policy, you might have to get an additional uh, degree or maybe a different degree altogether instead. Another thing I talk about is financial considerations, and we talk about this a lot in chapter 10, because again, a lot of people just don't think about um, the end result, about where they, they want to go, and they just kind of take it step by step. And you might end up going into debt and you might, you know, not want to be in debt later on. I actually have a podcast episode about this with Stephanie Martin where she shares her experiences of taking out loans to be able to do um, a volunteer experience abroad. So these are the types of things that you need to know getting into this career and really carefully weigh if this is the decision that you want to make for yourself. So tomorrow we are talking about chapter nine, getting experience. Make sure you subscribe, you don't wanna miss it, bye.